Look at this Pink Floyd reference. Hey, keep beeping the horn. There you go. Louder. Perfect. I'll tell you what, it is good to be back. Is there a monster truck rally? Happening? Raise your hand if you missed the cicadas. So finally in our most Buffalo feel good challenge of the day, school has either started or is about to start in schools across Western New York. So today we have been asking you to share your back to school photos. In a year when everything is different all of the time and with ever increasing weirdness, strangeness and uncertainty, it's nice to see some hopeful, excited smiles. The first day photo is a tradition for a lot of families. Maybe you even have a few of your own lying around in the archives. Fresh haircut, new sneakers, maybe a brand new backpack or lunchbox, fresh notebooks waiting to be filled with notes or doodles or just ready to be used as ammunition for the perfect paper airplane. Does anyone even still do those anymore? Then there's the little sign clutched in little hands detailing all the particulars like a mugshot for the criminally adorable. Name, age, grade, and now some of them have gotten pretty fancy with favorite foods and colors and even future plans written out for all to see. And it's always fun to look back on photos like these and compare the kids you see in September with the ones who emerge in June. A little older, a little wiser. There's always something in the eyes, isn't there? And that may be even more true these days with masks now taking up more than half our face, at least in public. These moments frozen in time are bound for Facebook or scrapbooks and will tell a story years from now that will put that old tale of when I was your age, we had to walk uphill to school both ways through a snowstorm to shame. It's almost fun to imagine these savvy little students with their sweet, innocent mugs as grizzled grown-ups someday, wryly looking at the next generation and saying, kid, I powered through a pandemic. We had math class in the garage. Not that we want to wish the days or their precious youth away, but I'm not sure any of us would mind if COVID-19 became a distant memory. The coronavirus learning curve is something no one in their right mind would choose as an elective, and yet here we are, all getting an education in things like patience and compassion, flexibility, where in the house has the strongest Wi-Fi signal, and how to creatively string together a set of curse words under your breath so that no one can when you look at these photos, you start to realize something. We can all put ourselves in those small shoes right now, can't we? Pretty much every day. Think about it. Standing on the front steps, facing the world, smiling, trying to play it pretty cool, even though we have no idea what's in front of us. Maybe we're a little scared or a little excited, but we're definitely hoping things turn out okay. It reminds me of something my mom has always said, and maybe you've heard this along the way too. A message for all of us as we launch this new school year and wrap up today's show and carry on for another day. Just go and do your best. How's that for higher learning? Thank you for sharing your pictures with us today. We're back again tomorrow here on Most Buffalo. Until then, I'm Kate Walsh, for Be Well, Stay Well. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.